Uh, hello, hello, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to my birthday. Hey, um, hello, and welcome to tonight's stream. Tonight, uh, we're going to start off casual, then we'll go into the main thing for tonight, which is Open TTD episode sixty, recording live. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on tonight. This is the first time I think I've streamed since I've been to the Lonesome Lamp Party, which means my settings are all skew whiff. Uh, also, me and the Viewer Plus people have been trying to sort a few things out, including we've got some new mods. So Wizard Brandon, so helpers, is now uh, a mod, a streamer mod. Um, so w welcome to the team, Brandon. Um, Brandon waves over from the viewer plus corner there. I've got so many chat windows up here at the moment. It's ridiculous. So hello, Thomas on YouTube. Uh, Dr. Gav on Twitch. DJ Ego on Twitch as well. Of course, we've got Nuzha, Wizard Brandon, uh, and a couple of other people over on Twitch TV as well. I'm seeing a total of, well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong screen. A uh, total of 22 of you here. Um, checking out what's going on right now. Brandon says 17 viewers. I'm seeing a total of 22. Uh, I don't actually... Do I... Yes, I see the Twitch. I do see Twitch because Twitch is still kind of my primary platform because that's where the chat bots are and that's where you can get hellish points and find out more and so forth. I haven't got bots on YouTube or Facebook yet or anything like that. Um... But, uh, yes, uh, apparently I've had 25,000 views on uh, on Twitch now, which I, I didn't realise it was that much. Uh, Quentin's here over on Twitch, uh, and we've got Gregory over on YouTube. Um, and Brandon says hi to everybody. He has. Uh, everybody else I haven't missed. Don't you mean hi to everybody, everybody else I have missed? Yes, you do. So... Uh, we're not on Mixer tonight. Uh, Mixer decided that they wanted to look at my channel and stuff and all that sort of thing. Uh, Restream bot uh, says from, over from YouTube, what is your Twitch? If you want to know anything about any of my places, uh, I think Brandon... No, Brandon! Bad Brandon! The first thing you try and do and help, and you forget what I just told you before the stream started. <laughs> I, d I appreciate all the help from all my uh, moderators and so forth. Yes, it's my birthday. Yes, it's on 9-11. Nobody will ever forget that. That's it. Astrin got it. Astrin got it. If anybody needs to know where any of my stream locations are, chat locations, uh, uh, video locations, there's one place for all of those links now, and it's on masterhellish.net forward slash hellish places. Um... <laughs> and yes, Ashton got the right link. Technically, Brandon did answer the question correctly. Okay, so we have to give him a bit of leeway for that. But because it's my birthday, I'm going to open myself a beverage. Uh, just one. And I do have um, some sweet... Um, some sweet baked goods uh, in Fantastic. case. Uh, we've got a follow over on Twitch. Uh, I don't know where that's going to show on one of my screens. Uh, Dino Tom, welcome to the Twitch side of the family. Uh, open TTD on a Wednesday night. Streaming. Oh, actually, also, once everybody's here, once we've got a few viewers on, I have an announcement as well. It's it's, it's only a small one, so don't go crazy. I Do I have candles? I, I blew out candles earlier. When I got home from work, uh, my parents and my daughter was home. And um, we did some candles then. So we've done candles. I don't really want to do candles in my office. I, f I forgot what such um, a light version of this beverage this is. Um, is it? It's not. Is it uh, still a ruby ale? It's a gold golden beer. Or something. Anyway, uh, that's not important. Yes, it's an adult beverage. I'm allowed. Um, I I am an adult now. Um, oh, you're here from YouTube. Well, welcome to Twitch from YouTube. Um, 
Ferry says, uh, can you move? Can you make more videos about train signals? D do I need to make more videos about train signals? I, I think I think I've made most of the videos about train signals one can make. There are except uh, exceptions, um, things like priority merges and stuff like that. You would you're getting really starting into the advanced section now. I I could look at that though so yes we have got some open ttd coming up what we'll do is we'll start the open ttd at nine o'clock uk time um the hellish chatbot doesn't like purge uh, we need train signals everybody um yeah, we, everybody likes train signals uh, my bit rate's looking good uh stream resolution is at 1080p which is important because i have a new central monitor Am I able to bring up my other cams? I don't know if I am. Let me see. I know one of them isn't going to work because it's unplugged on my desk. But if I go back here and have a look now, if I go, hmm, let's go to this view. Can I now bring up desk cam? Yes, it appears I can bring up desk cam. I mean, it's upside down, but I can I can fix that. Come here, desk cam. Nearly. It's a bit wonky. It's a bit wonky, but we have desk cam if we need it, which we don't. Also, the focus is well off. It's a manual focus on this one. Uh, there. I think that's right. So you can see I've got... Uh, this is my... Um, Media dock, so for USBs. This is this is new. Uh, these are um, US. Oh, actually, some of these are interesting. So um, that one and that one is a recent wedding. Uh, this one is from the Lowsome Lamp Party. Uh, th and I don't. I think that one is as well. And then, yeah. And then this one is from my nephew's birthday. So I've got qu quite a few photos to sort out. Um, Train signals are hard and fun. I would agree with that. Tom's here. Hey, Tom, over there on uh, Twitch. Welcome to the stream. You almost forgot about it. How can you almost forget about my birthday stream? Um, I definitely need to drink. It's going to get warm in this room. It really is. I like this view. It's a bit... Oh, anyway, the reason why I changed this view is this monitor here is new. This is my new monitor. Um, two of my monitors broke within the space of a week with different issues. Um, so I had to save up and replace them. But instead of replacing them like for like, this one I upgraded and it's now a 4K display. So I had to make sure that I'm capturing this display correctly and then only streaming it in HD because I have not got the bitrate to be able to stream in 4K yet. Uh, is there a way to quote messages? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Florian's here on YouTube. Hello, Florian. Welcome to the stream. We've got Open TTD coming up in about 20 minutes. Uh, we're having a, a slow ease into the stream tonight, uh, mainly because um, I'm not ready. <laughs> I haven't got Open TTD open yet, but we'll get it open pretty soon. Um, you do have to hack and crack your switch, though. For what, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Not quite sure what Brandon's talking about. Oh. There we go. You found the Body Swappers playlist and you really enjoy it. Well, thank you very much, Florian. It's um, it's an interesting Minecraft concept. I've never seen anybody else do uh, do that. Um, it doesn't mean that nobody else is. It just means I've never seen anybody else doing it, and um, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the Body Swapper series. It's 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 a little bit of a slower series because if you're playing by yourself, you can be a little bit more efficient with your time, and you can crack on. But playing Body Swapping means you get an, an, a whole extra dimension. Uh, it's quite interesting. Not reading the entire conversation again. In my defense, Brandon, there is about 23 different conversations going on here at the moment. So sometimes you have to give me context. Uh, so yeah, Body Swappers is fun. Has Body Swappers... Has the Body Swappers ending from your end? 
Tom, do you want to rephrase that question? I didn't quite understand you. Hadesh, uh, you should do Redstone. I think you'd be good at it. I do like Redstone. Uh, I started doing a Redstone tutorial series, and then they changed the way that some of Redstone worked, and I never got around to either finishing it or updating my series. Um, you downloaded OpenTTD because of your videos. I think a great number of people <laughs> downloaded OpenTTD because of my videos, or um, they found my videos because of OpenTTD. Um, Quentin, that's twice now, uh, the third time, and I'll put you... I put a couple of minutes on the end of it. Uh, yeah, Quentin's going a bit crazy with the gat, uh, with the got one year closer to death. Guy on uh, <laughs> Open TT Dis Discord after saying it's your birthday today. Yeah. Also, I don't see a lot of the chat. It goes very quickly. Um, Poor Carl, hopefully I got your name right. Hello over there on YouTube, welcome. Matthew Jackson, welcome. Open TTD for the win. Uh, I'm glad we're um, just waiting a little bit before we start because there's still a few people coming along and I'd hate for them to miss out. So, just having fun is here over on YouTube. Uh, DG Egg, of course, here. Um... <laughs> Restream bot has been timed out by Hellish Bot. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Um, so in short, Florian says in th uh, short, thank you for all you do. Happy birthday and hope uh, many more birthdays to come. Well, thank you very much. Um, I've had a good day so far and this is how I'm ending my day with you guys. Um, I've been at work and as as, um, as as much as I like my job, um, it is nice being at home with the family and stuff. Uh, but as 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 um days go at work it was a good day uh we had a few treats that i brought in to eat which is always nice um and yeah it's a generally good day it's no i'm lucky because i get to work with uh, a lot of really nice people um and i have a really interesting job so uh i am lucky in that point but uh, it was nice to come home to my parents my daughter and uh, my wife just got home not long ago uh she's gone upstairs to eat bless her because she's, she's only just got in and it's She'll be going to bed sometime soon. Uh, but yes, you should make Restream a mod to stop the timeouts. I thought Restream was a mod. Uh, I'll see if I can fix that. Um, uh, I know somebody gave me the link not long ago. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. Um, can we say that Open... Can we say that Open TTD is a guy's game? No. Open TTD is not a guy's game. I mean, as a, if, if you want to be stereotypical, guys do like. I don't know why we're on desk cam because I've, I'm not. I've got apart from my spanner, I've got nothing to show you right now. Uh, apart from maybe my my bun. Um, so we're coming back out of desk cam. Um, but yeah, I mean, I suppose it depends on on your preferences. But um, Keith plays it. It's not a man's game. Ironically, using. Her male name. Um, I, I, I feel sorry for her. We, we gave her this label of Keith. Uh, might want to mod Restream Bot to stop that from happening. Yes, Astrid. I'm working on it. Uh, I, can't, I can't find it, though. I'm working on it. Uh, we've got Claire in the lobby over on the Discord. If people want to have a chat with each other whilst watching the stream, or if um, you want the opportunity to just uh, maybe have a look at the uh, chat in a different way, uh, you can um, you can do that over on the Master Hellish Discord, and I'm sure one of my mods will tell you exactly how to get uh, over to the uh, Discord there. So let's see if I can get that restream bot modded. I think is that it? I think I've modded restream bot. If I didn't, we've got a problem. Um, Ashton got it. <laughs> um, use VIP. Do VIP instead? Why would I do VIP? Uh, that USB hub looks good. Which one is it? Um, it's a U Green. It's it's basically a cheap one off Amazon, I think. It is a cheap one off Amazon. It's USB three. Um, it's nice because and um, we can actually use um, we can actually use the uh, desk cam. It's nice because my phone can go in it if I want if I want it to. Uh, it doubles up as a phone stand. Luckily, though, 
Uh, I've got a phone stand here, but if I wanted to put my tablet there, then I could... Yeah, I've got options, which is nice. Um, so I suppose I better get OpenDD up and running pretty soon. Um, because people can use RestreamBot to do commands. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Peter Roberts says cheers. Cheers indeed. Cheers. Happy birthday to me. Mm. All the people on stream watching are great people. How are you? How are you all and mods, lol? <laughs> yes, I, I'm lucky that I've got lots of brilliant people that come on stream. My mods barely have to do anything. Uh, we'll crack on with uh, the Open TTD episode in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to start getting Open TTD open. We're going to open the Open TTD. So just take a little bit of refreshment on board. Open TTD. Right, so this is going to be a little bit weird. And I'll explain why once I've finished blasting your ears with Open TTD music by accident. Or did I mute it? I muted it. We're fine. So, um... The, uh, oh, how does this work? <sighs> what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Okay, so we're tonight is episode 60, which is the last episode in the series, sort of. Um, but I haven't yet recorded episode 59, but 59 is a bit of a standalone. Um, 59 is a let's look at everybody's builds part two. So what I'll do is sometime between now and when 59 comes out, I'll record that. And then... What I'll do is we'll edit this stream down into episode 60. You can't hear the music. I, I can't hear the music. I don't think there is any music. I think there might be something. Let me... Um, oof. Can I get the player up from here? No, I can't. I'll have a look once we get in. Once we get in, we'll have a look. So let's load the game. Let's play episode... Actually, episode 57 is the last one we was actively building stuff on. I can hear that there's audio. I just don't know where it's coming from. Um, Tom tried to time out himself via the restream. And, I, and it didn't work. <laughs> You can't use commands. No, that that does appear to be the case. Now, I wish you guys could see this, because I'm now... Uh, I've got f uh, 4K open TTD, which is quite nice. Um, it makes everything just that little bit sharper, and I've been playing uh, GTA in it as well. Patrick's here and says, Happy birthday, bud. Well, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream over there on YouTube. We're going to get cracking with the main open TTD in about nine minutes. Yes, got to get 4K on those 8-bit graphics. I don't, Yeah, I know. It's not, not really 8-bit, but you, you get the idea. You guys are going to be getting the HD version of what I'm seeing, so hopefully it'll still look good. We've got about 20 viewers over on Twitch, and I think everybody else is over on YouTube, so that's about 16 of you. Welcome everybody who's coming along. We're going to be... Yes, you get HD, Brandon. HD should be good enough for you. Oh, actually, we're in the game now. I should be able to look at the music. Fun new industry. What's going on? Have they changed the buttons? I know 1.9.1 did change some things. I've lost my double interface. I've lost my game options. Oh, no, it is... Oh, my, inter my interface is double-sized already. But it's in 4K. So I'm going to have to make it quad sized. Just to be able to see things. Oh, right. Okay. That's interesting. This is weird. I don't know if I'll be able to get the text up. Why not stream in 4K? Because uh, the most streaming places don't allow me the bit rate. Uh, I know you can't see the game, but Brandon, I'm still sorting it out. Um, Patrick says, I'm off to work in an hour, so I'll catch you up with the rest tomorrow. Oh, okay, Patrick. Well, I'll get the stream uh, online. It's going to be available on YouTube and Twitch and stuff pretty soon anyway. So uh, thanks for popping by. Have a good time at work. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and get the um, text in a 
bigger size game options font size quadruple but then I don't seem to be able to yeah that's better I, I think it's better right let's switch over to open TTD now uh, boom with the proper TTD uh, box um, most people don't have 4k screens that is true um, 1080 is the best I can get on Twitch. That there. Um, wow, Brandon's watching in 480? Wow. You can't tell the difference between 1080 and, 480, um, and 480? I, I am very surprised about that. Very surprised indeed. Right, we've got a few viewers on stream now, which is fantastic. Right, let's do a bit of an introduction for those of you who have missed it. Hello there, I am Master Haddish and welcome to tonight's Open TTD live stream. Uh, we're going to be doing a live recording of my final official video for my Series 5 Let's Play on the growing of Hellishville. Um, thank you very much everybody. Bill says he's at work. Bill, are you allowed to watch my stream at work? You can watch it later. In oh my goodness, in 144p, oh my goodness, old school 1080p for Wayne as well. Hello, Wayne, welcome to the stream. Um, what was I saying? Yes, we're going to record this, uh, we're going to do it live after we've done this recording of the episode. Uh, we will do probably something else, maybe open TTD related, um, and we'll have a bit of fun. Rabbit's working as well. What all these people working? Are you just in different time zones or you're working late? I don't know. There we go. Right, so before we get cracking with the episode, I'm gonna have some of this. I'm gonna have some of this um, Belgian bun. Now, Belgian buns, one of my one of my favourite um, bits of foodiness. I haven't, like I say, I, I haven't really had much to eat. Adams here on YouTube. He says he loves your my series uh, and all the stuff you've done in the past. Well, thank you very much, Adam. I hope you like the things that I'll do in the future as well. Um, got various different things um, coming up. Um, Ashton says, "Why am I still watching Mixer Chat?" No idea, Ashton. I'm not streaming on Mixer today. That's funny. I haven't seen anything from Facebook. Hmm. According to this, we have four viewers from Facebook, so they're just they're just lurkers. They're watching silently. Uh, Tom says, "Hey, Master Hellish, have a look at the message I've just sent you on Facebook." Oh, for crying out loud, Tom. Facebook. Where's Facebook? I know Facebook is a good way to send me messages, but uh, not in the middle of a stream, it's not. Also, messages through my Facebook page are not doing very well. Uh, Todd! Hello, love your series. Thank you very much, Todd. St oh my goodness. Every everybody's now mentioning the, um, things on Facebook. Testing Facebook. Yes, Facebook is working. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what's this that Tom sent me? It's, it's Tom's got me on... <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if I can do... Ooh, let me see if I can get this image open. Tom sent me an image, and for some reason, and I have no idea why, he is watching on, or attempting to watch on all four. I don't know what I saved that as. Let's have a look. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to zoom in on that. So that's currently Tom's display there. You can see that... There's a bit of lag between the different ones, and I'm offline on Mixer. Um, why he's watching on all of them, not quite sure. But uh, there we go. Multi hellish. That's what we like, isn't it? A bit of multi hellish all over. Um, it's your birthday. If so, happy birthday. Love the series. Thank you very much. Yes, it is my birthday today. Uh, I've been uh, working today and had a bit of family time, and now we're finishing off the day. Uh, the day. Um, oh geez, it's time. Time's up for every from restream bot. What? What's, what happened to restream bot? It got it got done again. Re restream bot. I think I've. I think I've done the wrong one. I think I've modded the wrong bot. Um, let's have a look. I think. Let's just refresh this before we get cracking with Open TD. Let. TTD. Let me see if I... Mm, yeah, I, I don't think that's the right one. Let's go back. Let's go back. 
re uh There it is. Where we are. We've got the right one now. Okay, so <laughs> Restream Bot is now an actual mod as well. Um I don't Tom shouldn't have been on modded. Um and I can see Neil's still here. Right. It is now as good as nine o'clock, and now is as good a time as any to start things up. So let me just flick through everything, make sure we've got everything up and running that we need to. Uh, we have got sound, have we? I forgot about that. Let's see. Um, I can't hear anything. Why have we got no sound from OpenTTD? You can hear it. No. You can't hear it. Oh, okay. Let me just do a test. Um, there we go. Uh, we're going to have to zoom in on that. So that's currently Tom's. Okay, so... You can't hear it. Oh. There we go. So I, that was me listening to my own stream. I just realised my headphones aren't plugged in, so that's not going to help. Oh, I can hear the OpenTTD music. It's just ridiculously quiet. Let me get the balance right for you guys, and we'll have open TD, TTD music on. There must be something wrong with the volume mixer. Let me just have a look. There we go. You can also see the last YouTube video I was watching. So that was probably a little bit loud for you guys. I think I've got the volume about right now, but let me know if it's not right. I think we're good. Looks good to me. So it was a combination of like three different volumes being down and my headphones not being plugged in. But if the volumes hadn't been down, the sound would have come out my speakers and I would have noticed that the headphone wasn't plugged in. Right then. So what we're going to do, we're going to start this as if it's an episode because I'll be chopping it for an episode. So. Uh, let's get cracking. Um, blame Tidmouth. Yeah, Tidmouth, you're sacked. There we go. Hello there. Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Series 5 Let's Play. I'm here live on Twitch TV, Facebook, and YouTube, and we've got a bunch of people. You can see them in the chats all over there on the other side of the screen, chatting away and speaking to me as we go. Um, so, this, of course, is our open TTD uh, map game. I'm on, I did have a few more people in my town, but I had some problems with my alcohol. Um, I went to a meeting, uh, I admitted my issues. And then they said, destroy half the town so you can get your stations in. Uh, which is essentially what I did. Um, we lost a few buildings around here, and they turned out to be more key buildings than we thought. Um, so, uh, we've got uh, lots of things going on here. Um, we're all together for this, what is going to be the final official episode in the series. Now, the reason why I say that is because we've just had a couple of viewers... Um, episodes where we've had a look at what you guys have done and this is going to be the last one where I try and grow the town so I don't know what the town's going to be by the end of this live episode but after this episode if you look in the playlist on YouTube and you see more videos it's because I've decided that I've had so many fantastic viewer submissions coming in after the series that we're going to do some bonus videos as well so if you're watching this in the future um, go down and have a look at the playlist because this might not actually be the last video of this series, but it's the last one where we're going to build it. Uh, did you destroy the Alcoholics Anonymous building? I don't know, Tom. I'm not quite sure. Um, right then, so let's have a look at the current situation. Here we go. I've had to adjust my screen resolutions a bit. 
uh, because of new monitors and things. So they're a little bit off, but everything should be okay. You can see that at the moment we are doing, we're delivering everything that's needed, and our storage is at 99% for everything except petrol. So what we're going to try and do is our town's been growing for 11 months in a row. Let's see how far we can keep this going. So, um, petrol is not at quite 99% uh, so to me that's the one we should have a look at. So let's go and have a look at petrol. This is where our petrol comes in. I'm not seeing any petrol trains and if we come down here it looks like we have 2,000 litres of petrol waiting. How many petrol trains do we have going to this station? I can see three there, another one there. So there's four. Well, there's one. There's another one. Is that it? Oh, and there's another one. So there's a load on their way. I think we might need a couple more trains. So we'll clone that one a couple of times. Now, as this net part of the network kind of starts rebuilding and growing, uh, we're hoping to see a lot more stuff coming through. And this advancement that we did oh a few episodes ago where we're bringing in uh, stuff to uh, recyclables to get into scrap metal and then the scrap metal being turned into metal and then the metal coming in for the machine shop hopefully we should get more engineering supplies out um, to those oil wells so that's that bit we're not at the end of September yet so our goals haven't changed I think if we press uh, this button, this actually stores the current, if I do control click on this, it'll store that as the default size of the window, so if we open that again, it's the correct size, which is brilliant. This looks like some prime spaghetti, it is, but it's, it's relatively neat and it works. If you look around here, we haven't got any backlogs of trains, they're all just flowing in and flowing out. Um, so, uh, more petrol is what we need. So I guess, let's see if there's any more oil that's come about over the last few years. Let's expand the map, turn off the town names and change it to industry. There are quite a lot of things going on here. And just got quite a few messages coming through, but it's not related to the stream, so we'll ignore them for now. I'm going to disable everything, but then go to oil rig and oil wells and turn them back on. And just have a look to see if there's any that I've missed. And it looks like we've got three oil rigs relatively close by that are just not plumbed in uh, around the fishing grounds. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, one there, uh, one here, and one there so if we can get them connected to this line we should be no hang on a minute yeah we can go to either one of those lines and bring in more oil so let's do that so to bring in more oil on those locations I have to find where they were again so there's one here that's gonna be really easy to connect up he says, thinking, how am I going to connect that up? Let's um, let's get a bit of extra land in. And I'm wondering whether we can just kind of expand this station. Let's delete this. And have a look. Um, does that station... It doesn't accept it. So we'll have to actually build the station on this side. Instead of using a boat, um, make a bridge. Um, Marza says, why you mana allowed so many stations and mine complain for a uh, house removal in a small city? It's because I have good ratings. If you have good ratings, uh, you can do more. They'll let you off with more. So we're just going to get these trains here. To just skip their orders so they get out of the way and whilst we're waiting for that to happen and for some reason they're pinned uh, we'll check on the um, stats here so petrol is at 95 goods is slipping and food is slipping so we might need to abandon what we're doing here 
and head out uh, to sort out the food. So we're going to skip that order and we're going to finish building this station entrance, get the signals in. Looks like this station's actually longer than the other one. So by expanding the station this way and switching the track that it uses, we, um, we, we kill two birds with one stone without actually killing any birds because that'd be horrible. Uh, I do need some depots though, so I keep trying to zoom in more than this, but I can't because it's a 4K display. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, we'll come out far enough so that we can kind of connect up to this. And in an ideal world, you would have this diagonal longer than the length of your trains because it makes it slightly more efficient. Trains don't decelerate very much when that happens. But that's an ideal world and we've got things to do. We've got things to keep up with here. Right, so that's one more oil almost completely in already. There it is. So, where's our trains? We need an oil train. So this depot here, you can't, you can set the max zoom setting. I could do, but I think I've already got the max zoom enabled. So I'm going to clone this train here because it's the right format that we need. We're going to modify its orders. So it looks like it goes via this oil. In fact, the only order we need to change is that first one. If we delete that first order and tell it to full load here, we should be then all right. So what we'll do is we'll unpause the game, we'll clone that one out and send them on the way. So that should now be filling up with oil. Now, we've connected one up. Let's turn our attention to the goals and see what's going on here. So goods and food have stabilized. Uh, food, uh, sorry, goods is the one that's dropped a little bit, sorry. I thought it went to 98, it's at 88. Um, Tom says my prediction of getting a trillion pounds has been completed. Have I got a trillion? Uh, thousand, million, trillion. That is true. Didn't I have... Nah, uh, hang on. It, it's billion, isn't it? Million, billion, trillion. Tom, I think you've got an extra three digits somewhere. Uh, train is too long. Yes, the train is too long. But I, I can fix that. We can fix that. We can go railway construction, station, drag and drop. And we can go like this. We can go, um, plot. What, flat rhyme required? Well, we can do that as well. <gasps> we can't do that because there's a... Oh, no. Ah, it's broken. Okay, get back in the depot. Turn around. Stop it. Oh, no. Right, okay. How am I going to do this? So we'll, we'll send them out for a run. Oh no, that's the wrong track. <laughs> we want maglev. Okay, convert the track. And Google, stop listening to me. It is now, I just turned it off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> right, the trains, are, the trains are getting out of the way. I'll fix the station. We'll move the... This is what happens when you deal with multiple train lengths within the same um, within the same game. Right, okay, so that's where the station's going to be. Again, I keep trying to zoom in, but it's, it's currently not possible. <laughs> um, there we go. I just tried to zoom in again. I can't help it. I just, I just, in my brain, I know there's another zoom level. I, I, let's have a quick look in the settings, actually. Um, settings, uh, zoom. Use the search on the zoom. Maximum zoom in level times four. Yeah, so that's actually pushed me further out. And it also broke my... Ah, oh, we found a bug. You change your maximum zoom level and it... Or is that done on purpose? No, it changed the interface size. Interesting. Okay, let's crack on. Let's get this depot put down. There we go. So the depot's in. 
the trains are on the way we're going to be picking oil up there sometime soon that's going to boost petrol production let's see how things are getting on with the objectives got an itchy ear yes it is a billion um goods are now good oh my goodness okay we've managed to do uh, 15 months now should we fund um, construction i'm pretty sure you can still do that as well so local authority uh oh you can't you can't fund construction of towns nuts okay never mind so goods and food are a little bit wayward but we're doing okay let's go have a look at the good situation build a statue did i not build a statue yet right it's going to cost 1.6 million for this statue 1.6 million for a statue what's the statue made out of there we go i did it let's find the statue there it is it's it's me in a top hat with my hands behind my back stood on a Z. why am i on a Z? don't know Rabbit says the the price is worth it um okay let's have a quick look at see what's going on down at the goods hub so at the goods hubs we are producing lots and lots of goods we've got manufacturing supplies wool and plant fibers that's wool not wood z for z base that's probably a good point brandon uh we've got a lot of crates coming through here so there's no blockage it certainly looks like all the trains are flowing fine down the line and it's a little bit busy here dropping off the goods but there's no waiting trains each platform's in use but there's no waiting trains there's trains on the way and there's trains leaving so that would indicate the flow's fine so let's go back down the queue and have a look uh, where is it? it's down here isn't it let's see what's happening over at the manufacturing hub we've got 137 crates of manufacturing supplies I think that's fine that shouldn't be too much of a problem okay uh, let's get the station list up then so one of the things that I get asked sometimes is how do I manage uh, my stations and know which ones are getting too busy your station list you set it so it's total weight in cargo and sort it so you got the most there first now you can see over here we've got a massive amount of recyclables coming out of here can't really deal with pulling more out at the moment without changing this design completely or maybe switching to vac I don't know and this feeds into uh, this recycling plant and that loops round through the recycling plant making even more manufacturing supplies which get taken we haven't got a surplus here so that's all good um, Punston massive amount of passengers there but we don't need more passengers Slamway West is where we're taking this stuff here we're converting it to manufacturing and farm supplies we don't need farm supplies in the town but I think we're just dropping off those manufacturing supplies and we should be fine with that or is it the farm supplies don't know don't know which one we're dropping off there but it, it should be fine um Wombra Central apparently I've got I've still got bus routes running around up here I, I don't know why I've still got bus routes running around here but I have um Parthen Hill Woods is where we're taking um, as much stuff as possible I think we might be able to get a few more trains through here nope we just need our trains to load faster 2,000 tons of recyclables um, oh my uh, OMG spark says this is an impressive network size what's the total play time to get this is this the biggest you've built or how much bigger was that I think I might have built networks that are kind of on par with this before. Um, this is certainly one of the biggest networks I've done. Not sure about total playtime, but this is episode 60. Is there something that tracks total playtime in OpenTTD? I'm not sure. If there is, let me know. Uh, so I think, I mean, without expanding the number of stations or getting a shuttle in to do something else about that, I, I'm not sure. But looking at this, I mean, Nuttington Mill's kind of the next one where stuff's backing up, but there's not a lot there. So we haven't got a lot of stuff backing up. We're fine. But what I will do, though, is I will pin this and leave it just above my head. There. 
so that we can keep an eye on those stations. If anything starts building up, um, then we'll know. Ratbick's off. He's heading out for the day. Okay, um, Ratbick, thank you very much. Nudger says, get the devs on it. And Ratbick says, happy birthday again. I hope you enjoy the rest of it. Well, thank you very much. It is indeed uh, as uh, my birthday today. And today we're playing some Open TTD live on Twitch. So just to recap now, uh, we've been growing 15 months. And it's really just the goods that have got a bit of a problem. If we can get more... I mean, uh, how much has been transferred here? Everything. If we can get more out of this station, that would be good. But this line just appears to be chocker with trains. There's just trains all... The Why is that there? Let's get rid of that. Uh, there's trains just all the way down that line. Um... So it's, it, I think it, well, no, because the unloading's not sh slowing it down either. For somebody who says use tunnels, I use a lot of bridges. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's, um, let's carry on. Maybe we can throw a couple of more trains in this, just in case we can get some more through there. Uh, Jan says, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream on YouTube. Um... We're in the middle of January at the minute, so really anything we can do to expand these goods. Nottington Mill. Ah, oh, Food North is backing up with a bit of food. Looks like we've got some trains that are coming through. I think we'll be alright. I think it was just a one-off. By the looks of it, it really looks like Open TTD is not uh, uh, optimised for 4K. Uh, we've got a few other people saying hello. So uh, Bill says... Uh, the time will uh, not fast forward. Um, would it be over 26? The time would, with no fast forward would be a bit over 26 hours. Oh, you worked it out, of course, because it's 13 minutes per in-game year. And if you know what game game year I started at, you can work out how long you play for. Um, WC Drift says, who wants to play online? Everybody always wants to play online, and Gwabe's here as well. Welcome, Gwabe. Uh, Man of Two Nuts, welcome, hanging out. And uh, Aiden says, happy birthday, Hellish. Well, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on down here. Little Footing Hill Woods seems to have quite a lot of oil at it. So we're going to clone this train twice and send, it on, uh, send them on their way. Throw more trains into the network. That, that's going to be... Uh, a good thing to do, isn't it? Um, let's have a look at the situation now. It's in We're in February. We've been growing for 16 months. Uh, food is a little bit down, but I think that's just because of the deliveries that we were having. Goods has gone up. Um, maybe we should get... I, mean, I have no idea where we are in the network. Where are we? That's parfing. Oh, we're right down the bottom. Past the goods hub. There we go. So this... Where's it gone? This oil rig here doesn't have any engineering supplies. And for engineering supplies... Oh, wait, no, it does have engineering supplies. We're just starting to get the first lot of engineering supplies coming in. So ignore me on that, it's fine. Nottington Mill is starting to stack up on manufacturing supplies just a little bit. We have lots of manufacturing supplies trains coming through, so that shouldn't be a problem. So that's good. Uh, looking, yeah, that's looking okay as well. Um, we've got trains with trains with negative profit, but I don't really care about that. Aircraft that aren't doing that great. Uh, let's resize the aircraft window and go and have a look. So uh, we've got, uh, have we got a lot of fruit waiting here? Not a massive amount of fruit. Maybe we can clone, put one more aircraft on the route. We do need to make sure the fruit continues to um, keep up with everything. So, petrol, again down to 87%. So I think by the looks of it, we need to make sure we get that other oil rig put in. So, um, we've got one oil rig. Where's the other one? There. Uh, it's here. This is not going to be the easiest way to put in a railway, but we will. We'll put a railway in. We'll do it to about there. 
We've got the money. Uh, we don't need to worry about the environment. Uh, I got a note. I've got I've got like a doctor's note for the environment. Um, so let's do that and pop a station in. So number of tracks is going to be two. Platform length is six. And let's do a bit of track building. Simple track building. It's a terminus station. So we put a little cross there because it's a terminus. We don't need signals on the station side, but we'll put double signals on the other side and we'll put a depot in there as well. Now, because this line here that we're crossing is barely used at all, it's just a shuttle service. What do you mean can't build signals here? Yes, you can. We're just going to put some signals in and we're going to let the lines cross each other. It's not very often I do that and it is inefficient to do that. But the amount of trains going across there is very small. We don't have many trains at all. Uh, we are going to put signals along the line though. Um, Autotool signals and then drag. We just need to drag them across here. There we go. Uh, let's remove that signal and that signal to keep... Oh, actually, yep, that's fine. We'll just control drag these ones up so they go up to the main line up here. And we're ready to put some more stuff in. Have you used other texture packs before? Says Brandon. Uh, I've only used the default and Z-Base before. I've never used any other texture packs. I've tried bits of different textures, but never really got on with them. Okay, so we've got a six length train. I've never really I've never really found one that really took my fancy. Now does this 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 says it accepts oil? It doesn't it Oh. Station's out of range. Um brilliant. Station's in the wrong place. It's not quite close enough. There we go. It'll be close enough now. It will. It, it should accept oil. I mean, it should supply oil. It still doesn't supply oil. Wow. That's interesting, that. Because if we look at the catchment area... Oh, no, it's not. It kind of looks like it might be, but if you look at the legs of the oil rig, it's not. Aiden says, I've been watching two... Season 2 of OpenTTD, this seems like some futuristic stuff. It really is futuristic. Big time. Anyway, we'll just expand the length of the platform. It'll be fine. Okay, so now uh, the trains in this depot. How many trains have I got in there? One. Okay, I need to clone it so there's at least three. And send them on their way. Brilliant! Okay. I thought you need boats or helicopters for oil rigs. Uh, you don't have to have boats or helicopters. You could put a road out that's nearby. Uh, people just tend to use boats or helicopters because it's expensive to put land across. Let's see the situation. Right, fruit has dropped 87%. That's not good. The, tr the town has now been growing for 21 months in a row. What are we up to now with the town size? Back up to 15.8 thousand. Definitely need to keep that fruit coming in. Uh, let's have a look just to see if there's any more fruit plantations that we can hook up that have spontaneously popped up. So fruit plantation. The resolution's a bit small on this, but if we center around Hellishville, hover over it, they flash. And the answer really is no. There isn't any fruit plantations in the local area, so we need to try and make the most of the ones we do have. Uh, food is backing up with food. Uh, it looks like we've got a problem with... Po a potential problem with trains coming in on that food line. So what we'll do... So we're, we'll, we can't put a double depot in, but what we'll do is we'll put um, an optional side slip like this and we'll allow trains from kind of like back here 
to join that as like an extra so one two three four five six so if we put the signal there we should be okay so trains should be able to stack up now I think some of these are requiring one of these two depots already so there we go uh, you mean if you're close enough I mean if you're close enough with a spread station would work yes spread station would work you could you yeah you could do that uh, right okay so I'm still a little bit concerned about some of these food dropped a little bit but I think that was just the flow of the trains fruit is back up again and we're doing 22 months in a row now things are going quite well I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to fail this but we'll see we'll see how long it's gonna take um, let's have another little drink Oh, we've got trains that say they can't find a path but that's just because we're waiting for things to load let's send that one to the depot I don't think we need it there anymore uh, we've got a lot of passengers and Greninville Woods this place has got a lot of oil at it so if we open the depot and then open the station and look at the train list we can clone one of those trains and I'm using control to do shared orders and we'll have a second one and we'll send them on the way um brat what are those symbols brandon are they cakes i'm not sure i can just see two little brown things i'm not sure windows 10 added a feature if you click the windows key and colon you get some emojis that's right i believe they're not i believe they're unicode characters so that's quite good uh, oh, right. Apparently at this airport now we've got uh, a surplus of fruit. I would rather have too many aircraft over here than not enough. But let's look. No, that's the wrong button. Let's look at the possible aircraft we could have over here because it's been a while. And then, in fact, let's have a look at replacing our aircraft fleet. So if we go manage list, replace vehicles, let's see what, see what the options are. So, we need to re be able to refit to fruit, so that's not an option, 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 that's not an option. Okay, so we have to use this aircraft. In which case, instead of getting better aircrafts, we'll just get more of them. So, um, we'll order another four aircraft to try and shift this fruit. Uh, we've got extra oil over here that we need to shift so we'll have a couple of extra trains going through there having this station list is working wonders um right let's have a look dg egg sent me a um a present character thank you very much that's cool uh what am i doing next what am i doing i've lost let's have a look at the list 24 months we've grown now. Uh, fruit is the own. Well, no, petrol's a little bit, but we're working on that. I kind of don't know what to do about fruit. And we also need another train here, so let's clone that one. Um, I don't know what to do about fruit. We need more fruit. How can I get more fruit? I suppose I could put another airport in next to a fruit place. And just bring in more fruit. Um, there's one up here somewhere. Let's have a look. Let's just do that. It's the quickest way to resolve the issue. So there's a fruit plantation just here. We just go like this. Plop. Airport, construction, airports. I'm not 100% against this airport. So I just don't think you should rely on it for income. So the, inter uh, the international airport is plenty big enough for a single fruit plantation. And we will clone some of our existing aircraft. In fact, there's one of them going by now. And just change the orders slightly. I'm getting some flashing. On the screen. Bear me a second. Uh, things might go a bit funny. 
I'm just gonna try turning my monitor off and then back on again. Oh, things went a bit weird. Hmm. Well, I think you guys can see it fine, so we'll just carry on, I suppose. Bear with me a second while I make sure that one of my monitors just turned off as well, and I have no idea why that might be. That seems to be back. Hmm. Cable plugged in correctly. Well, I would, I would hope so. Um, the weird thing is, it seems to be around the edges that it's having problems. Um, let's have a look. The thing is, it's digital, so it should just be... Hmm. We'll have to see about that. We'll have to see. Uh, so, where has my chats gone? Let's move the chat round. So I can see what's going on. Oh my goodness, that became massive. There we go. And this bit's supposed to be here. God, everything went a bit crazy then, folks. Apologies for that. Okay, that's... Did you ever get new monitors? Yes, I. I this is one of the new monitors. Uh, it's going really weird right now. I don't know why, but... I will what we'll do is we'll finish open TTD and then I'll, I'll do a bit of troubleshooting in a break and then we'll come back for whatever's next so uh, we were getting this sorted out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that service actually what we'll do is we'll just start the orders again so full load here and then we'll go to Hellishville which is all the way oh, it's a long way to go is there a kind of a stop they can do part way so it's there Where's the Partway Airport? I think it's... Is it en route? I don't know. We'll just get the aircraft to go straight there. I've lost Hellishville. Where am I? I know where I am now. Here we go. This is where we're going. We need to remember that this order here is a transfer and leave empty order. And what we'll do is we'll have way too many aircraft there. That should be too many. Right, then. Let's get you guys back into OpenTTD now I've fixed the screen issues and we can crack on. So I just sent the aircraft um, over to, um, over from, where is it? I've lost it now, the airport was just here a moment ago. There, over from this fruit plantation, they're loading up now and then they'll fly down to Hellishville Holt. There's plenty of runways there so we can keep things coming in. Uh, this plat this station down here again seems to have run out of uh, trains to shift the oil, so we'll get another train in on that. This airport again is full of fruit, so we'll get a few more aircraft to shift that fruit. Now let's see what the situation is. We've now been growing for 28 months in a row. We've just gone past 16.8 thousand, and everything's at 99%. Things are going really well. Really, really well there. Uh, what's up next? Hmm. Not sure. Okay, let's head back to Hellishville, which is just over this way. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. So we're just about to hit 17,000. Um... Looks like the guys have found out the commands for all the different points, and so Hellish has weird commands. Do I have weird commands? I do need to work on my uh, um, command, work on my commands at some point, and kind of improve them. Um, but we'll see about that. So, with uh, th about thirty-seven minutes uh, of the episode gone already, we're doing all right. 99% of everything, the town is growing at an alarming rate. 29 months in a row now. Could we have a massive push for the end of the episode, uh, end of the series? I don't know. Uh, we need to get this oil rig hooked up to this line, which is going to be interesting to do. Not sure the best way to go about it. It 
might be best to actually come up here. I don't know, actually. I mean, you got the punt. Punt stone's just completely in the way for me right now. Uh, what's that? They've got a wrecking yard. So that produces scrap metal as well. Oh my goodness, that's producing scrap metal too? Wrecking yard? What? Oh, scrap metal and recyclables. I'm getting confused between the two now. Uh, the Dumb Gamer's here. Hello, Dumb Gamer. Welcome to the stream. Uh, right, so yes, we do kind of need to get this oil well hooked up, but I don't know where it's going to get hooked up. Uh, let's get another train going here. We've got lots of trains running this route. And we need to get more trains running this route as well. Fantastic. So we're going to clone an existing train. There we go. Uh, so that's the petrol probably going to be fine for a little while. So maybe we don't have to get this oil rig in just yet. It's got a long way to go. I do think, think that kind of like across here is the best bet for that line. Maybe there's something I can work out. So if we kind of go with a big massive bridge like this and then come out a little bit to there and just cut through the countryside because apparently there's no animals in open TTD apart from the ones that are at the farms. It's like the opposite of our potential future where veganism has, has taken over the world. Um, which, you know, I don't technically see any problem with that. Uh, not one must... Oh, no! We ended up... I accidentally clicked a station and ended up in the wrong part of the town. Uh, not one myself. There we go. Brilliant. Right, how do I get hellish points? You get hellish points for watching on Twitch. So if you're watching on YouTube or want to take part in hellish points... You can, but you need to switch over to Twitch TV. Right, let's remove that. There we go. You get hellish points for watching uh, the streams on Twitch. There we go. Brandon says it's been like it for swimmers. You just wanted another badge next to your name. <laughs> yeah. We gotta love the badges. So, I need to get past whatever this is. What is that? A chemical plant. Okay, we need to get past this chemical plant. We could bridge over here and end up there. I'm not interested in that right now. Go away. I'm working on ke I'm working on stuff. And then go straight down to here. If we could get under that bridge. That'd be quite good. Or, even better, we don't have to have a bridge there anymore. Terraforming time. There we go. What bridge? I didn't see no bridge. There we go. We can just then connect it up. This this is the way forward. I'm, I'm certain of it. So Sainsbury's launch a range of edible grubs. Oh, okay. That's an interesting thing. I'm not sure it's something that I would personally be um, seeking out. <laughs> okay. New station. Going to make sure that we keep delivering even more petrol than ever before. And stay in touch for the end of the episode because whenever that may be, I'm not quite sure when the end is. Uh, we've got a mini announcement uh, about something coming up in the future. And I think everybody's going to like it. I don't want to get your hopes up, but it's going to be good. Going to be good. Right, so there's our bridges. Let's get this angle in. Again, I really, when you're doing corners like that, you should make them longer, but I only care to a particular level. Let's put all the signals in and get some trains, clone one of the trains from nearby. That train will do. 
change the order for the first one, delete that order and tell it to go there and full load instead, clone it out a few times and send them all on their way done. Right, so we've got the oil rig in, I think. Oh, it's connected to the wrong line! It's connected to the wrong line! Can't believe I did that. Oh dear. I accidentally got a viewpoint up. I think one of my control um, shortcut keys is, is slightly broken. Oh dear, I can't believe I did that. Who noticed that? Who here watching live noticed me connect that up to the wrong line? It's a very subtle mistake. Because the two parallel lines running very similar areas. There we go. Let's just bring the signals along a little bit. There we go. Now I know under here we've got, if we do that and get the auto tool out, we've got a little bit here to remove. There we go. There goes the first train already. DJ Egg says um, he noticed it. So did Brandon. Claire says after saying... You should build tunnels, not bridges, and going back to building bridges everywhere again. I know. It's because for me, bridges are easier. I I can visualize where bridges go better. I don't have to worry as much about the land. Technically, tunnels are better. But as long as I say tunnels are better, I'm allowed to build bridges. Uh, Gwabe, I don't think Gwabe noticed it. Um, but there we go. <laughs> um... Beer Cake Inc. announcement. No, dumb gamer, it's not. No, it's not beer cake. I'm not launching beer cake, Nudger. Although that does sound interesting. I have had Guinness cake before. It was nice. Um, I don't normally drink stout, so that's interesting. Right, let's see what the situation is. Thirty-five months we've grown for now, but goods is down to seventy-six percent. That's a big alarm bells, there, folks. Let's go see what's happening on in the goods zone. Where's the goods zone gone? Here it is. Here's the goods hub. So we've got uh, not many goods to be picked up. In fact, trains are just sat there. Uh, we are producing a relatively good amount of goods. I just don't think we're keeping up. We might need to actually push that up a little bit more. Uh, let's go and have a look at what's supplying the goods network. So in the goods network, we've got, we've got various different things coming in. I've got an error. I do get this error every now and then. It's been mainly... I think it's because I upgraded the maglev. I'm just ignoring it and hoping everything's fine. Uh, Western Railway in Trains says, Hello, big fan. Hello, welcome to the stream there. And also, Jathom over on uh, YouTube as well. Welcome to the stream. So we've been going for this episode now for about... 45 minutes so far we've managed to grow the hellishville for 36 months in a row its population is nearly 18,000. we're having a little bit of problem with goods right now and as the town grows the 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 uh, requirements go up and as the requirements go up i'm gonna fail at some point and we'll find out when that will be uh school is hard school can be hard but then it doesn't get easier after school Everything after school is also hard. Life is hard, but hard things often come with good rewards. And a reward in life and a fun life and living your life is fantastic. So, uh, we need to try and get more goods in here. One obvious way of doing that would be to increase the amount of stuff that's coming through the re this recycling plant. Um, again... The trains are a little bit stodged up around here and there's not a lot of room for them. I feel like adding extra lines for them, but I don't know where some of those lines would go. Um, a secondary line for train. Let's put a secondary line in. We've got two lines here. So this bit here. Um, steel is hard, so is titanium. That is true. Quabe says, I wish I could go back to school. It was nice now, I think about it. You know what? I feel similar. You look back on school after you've finished and you start doing other things after it. You start realising how, how nice it was. How much um, 
even though some things were difficult and some things were not necessarily easy to enjoy, uh, overall it, it was good. I'm sure everybody's experience of school is different, but I, I certainly feel that way. So we're going to build more bridges, even though tunnels are better. This station's in the way. So we're going to delete this depot and wiggle the track slightly. So we're going to signal, we're going to remove this signal. Can't remove that signal, the train would crash. We're going to direct them there, remove that bit of track there, uh, remove that there too. Actually, we'll leave that bit of track there. We'll put the wiggle in as well. And I think that's okay. It's a little bit difficult to say. Let's just delete that there. Yeah, that's all right. We need some more signals in. Uh, so let's go signal, put that down along the line, that looks okay. We're, du we're basically doubling the amount of trains that can come round this bit. Uh, it looks like we need another little wiggle and then we're going up a hill. A hill which I cannot increase. So this is going to be interesting. Then maybe what we should do... Oh god, this is difficult. This is difficult because it's hard to see. Um. You're in a preparatory preparatory class. I don't know if you know about it. Not quite sure. Uh, thirty-seven month thirty-seven twenty-one k people says Bill. Um, oh, that's your prediction. Well, we're in month thirty-nine, and we're up to seventeen point six. Looks like it's gone down a bit. Ready for some expansion, which is fine. So it looks like did I get that up on the same level? Looks like I did manage to get that on the same level. So what we'll do is we'll bring this in here like this. Oh, no, I didn't bring it on the same level. Okay, never mind. These two lines... We will go down a level with. Ah, this is difficult. Because that's... Oh. Is it two or three? Oh, we need both. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do right now. Okay, let's see. Can we get this to come down? Yeah, we'll have to. Ah! Rebuilding everything. This is not good. Okay. Um, no. So, we want to go down there, down there. We can't go down there. But if we turn a corner here, here, and here. Let's remove that. So these three lines need to come into two. Which I think I've just managed. No, right. Okay, so that line is fine. That one needs to go into this one. My mouse is stuck. And then it also needs to go forward into this one. Which it does. As does that one. Brilliant. Now we just need a load of signals so we don't get any crashes. So we've got three lines going down into two. The middle line can switch between the two different ones. Whew, that was difficult to work out. But also, um, it means we could actually end up with a bit of a slowdown of the goods. Let's see what the situation is. The town has now been growing for 41 months in a row. We're up to 18,500. Yes, goods went down to 50%. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. We pretty much... Oh, this could be it. B me doing that could, could kill everything. There might be a 90 de degree problem north of where you are at the intersection. Might be a 90 degree problem. I don't think there will be because they're only flying in one direction. I think. If this is where you mean round here, uh, Cleric should be fine. Take the left lane down too. Yes, well, the, all of those lanes went down. Uh, and they do appear to be connected perfectly fine now. Goods is down to 43%. Food's struggling a little bit. 
petrol's starting to struggle again. We need to get that station list up. We need to see... Oh, I just filtered by something and I didn't mean to. What did I just filter by? There we go. Didn't mean to filter. Uh, we've got... Um, let's put that in the top corner for now. We've got a station down here that requires more trains. So, depot. Clone that train a couple of times. Out it goes. Um, this should help with the petrol problem. This station over here has got a lot of trains at it, but it's a long way from the terminus where it needs to be. Uh, there's Pondstone. So I can you I can always use Pondstone to come back to Hellishville. We're near we're nearly at 20k. Are we going to get our goods back up? We're in month 42. My, one of my legs has gone to sleep, and I've just realised. Whatever that thing my monitor was doing previously, I know you guys in the video and the live stream can't see it, it stopped. It's fine. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was a loose cable. Oh no, goods is down to 36%. Oh, please tell me trains are still flying through there at a good rate. They seem to be flying a lot better now. We are blocked up down here, but I don't know why. Is it just because we're waiting for platforms? Is there one platform that they can't use? Why did I put a crossing there? Um, this shouldn't be the crossing. The crossing should be here. Before the station. Oh, I can't move that. Oh, no. Right, depots are causing a problem here because a train is selecting a depot before it can select a platform. And it's it's... I think it's causing a problem with flow. Also, we can improve flow by putting a signal here. These could be double depots, actually. Right, we're going to fix everything. This is going to become a lot better. So we'll do that for now. We'll move the depots out. We'll change them into double depots. Uh, this line basically is going to be coming down here. So we'll remove this signal. The line comes down here. Why won't it let me? There was a train in the way. Double depots means faster everything. Make sure they can get to the depot before we do a crossover. I can't do a crossover. Can I do a crossover like that? I can, but it would end up with a 90 degree turn somewhere. Which I could probably fix. Um, can I do... I can do that. Okay, so we've got the double depot in there. That can split off into either platform. That can split off into either platform. The problem is, is that, that then they are waiting for each other on the platforms. Okay, we're not going to let the, we're not going to let them switch platforms. That's the trade-off. We're not going to let them switch platforms. We're going to force them onto one particular platform. There we go. Two lots of double depots now. We just need the signals in, so we can get signals in here. That will help with flow. We can get signals in there. In interestingly, you can place signals on top of trains, but not other things. Right then, let's catch up, catch up with the, ch the, um, the chat. Claire says north of Lair. I think I need a little bit more intro um, instruction. Petrol load is always tough. Maybe uh, it was a su power surge. I don't know. Everything else was fine, apart from that one monitor went a bit funny. We'll check it out later. Right then, let's see what the situation is. We are still growing after 45 months... Uh, goods is down to 20%. Storage, that is. We could end up failing here, but I think we've managed to really push this now. Yeah, we, we can get more trains through here. We, we can get even more trains through. We can take advantage of this. I'm cloning these out. Hopefully we can take advantage of the 
nearly 3,000 tons of recyclables down. Get these trains pushing through, dropping them off at massive speeds and really boosting this whole entire part of the network. What, what did you find, Gwabe? Is there a way to find out how long you have left on Viewer Plus? Yeah, you should be able to find it through your your profile, your Viewer Plus profile. Okay, let's see on the situation now. What are we at? Town has been growing four to six months. Goods is down to 17%. Something is terribly wrong with goods. Number of goods has dropped. I know the goods requirement is quite high. Oh, please hit me! Let me hit twenty thousand before the goods falls to pieces. Oh, come on! We've we've really got to get more goods coming through. It's now September. Forty-seven months and goods is down to twelve percent. Petrol's down to seventy-five. We really need to push on the goods. We're at four point one of uh, four point four billion. One point four billion, I should say. Oh my goodness, I don't know if we're going to be able to pass this. Number of crates of goods pr produced last month did go up a lot, apparently. So when you get trains dropping off at platforms like this and you want them to choose their own platform, um, doing it like I've done in the goods is the right way of doing it. You have your double depots first, then you have enough room for a train to come out, then you have a crossover, and then after the crossover, no signals. It means the trains can just decide on which platform they need to be and choose the best route for it. Uh, let's go over to Grand Hill Transfer. We need more trains down here. We've got uh, a million litres of oil stacking up. If I actually get the right button as well. So we'll, we'll clone three trains. Try and sort that out. Uh, we've got quite a lot of something at Monton Manor. Wool! A lot of wool is stacking up at Monton Manor. Oh, look at this. We got a blockage? Or just things running slow because... Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Did we just have trains breaking down? And We just got so many oil trains that it's getting really busy. And the network's jamming up. Are we going to fail? Oh no, goods are down to 4%. It doesn't look like there's a big problem, but I don't know what's going on. We might not survive this. Well, the, tr the town might not grow next month and we will fail. What are we at? We broke 20,000 though. Yes. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of trains stacked up. We need like a bypass put in there or something. Well, it's the 1st of November. Goods are 11%. Okay, we've got. I think we've got the opportunity to fix this. So, don't know what's going on, but we've got a lot of trains snaking through here. We're going to have a secondary entrance into this station. The secondary entrance is going to come through here. Um, we're going to need a bridge there. We're going to need to flatten some land. Like, hang on a minute, is that it? No, that's not it. Like this. Flatten a lot of land. Flatten even more than that. And let's see what we can do. We'll have this go straight across here, because why not? And we need to go up, so we're going to have to go to here. I hate having to go up on diagonals, but it's just how things are, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, that goes down again there, so we don't need to do this one. No, get the right level. Get the right buttons! Come on! This is a challenge here. We're trying to beat the game at its own game. We're trying to beat my own game. Right, that should offer an alternative route into the station. And we can put a depot in. I think I left enough room. There we go. So that should alleviate a little bit of the stress there. 
Confirmed. I am not a developer. The population should still go up for a little bit after it stops growing. Not quite sure about that. You hate diagonal upside uh, bits. I do as well. Um, remove that depot. Which depot? All the depots seem to be fine. Let's see what the situation is. Uh, we grown for 50 months. Uh, goods is really struggling. It's struggling the most. Uh, but let's see what happens at the end of the year 2067. I, I, I'm not trying to beat my own game. I made the scenarios. I did the scenario settings, so I'm trying to beat myself a little bit. Oh no, goods is down to 5%. Something is seriously wrong with goods. What's wrong with goods? Where is goods? There it is. We're, we're producing pro quite possibly more goods than ever. Let's look at the delivered cargo graph. Yeah, delivered cargo is just slowly going up and up and up. I'm not an open TTD dev. I have a t-shirt to confirm it, which you can buy from the Hellish store. Go to masterhellish.net to find out what is in the Hellish store right now. So, um, a small portion of the purchase goes to Master Hellish. That is kind of true. Um, right, so there are a number of manufacturing supplies here, but not a ridiculous amount. The trains are going around delivering that. A small advert break. I know. Small advert break right, while I panic. We're on 51 uh, months and 5% for this goods. We need to figure out what is going on with the goods. Okay, so the trains are in the platforms. They are loading. The trains are queuing, ready to go into the platforms. They are ready. Trains are going down the lines to Hellishville. And they're getting into Hellishville fine. So it must be something about the income into this place which is causing a problem. Uh, we've got trains on this line. Oh my goodness, they're really stacking up. Something's going on down here at the manufacturing hub. We're not making nowhere near as many crates of manufacturing supplies as what I thought we would. Um... Clips should be allowed. Brandon can repost. Um, any mods can repost. Um, 25, 52% of the recyclables there are being transported. Um, my goodness. Mi missing some new signals on the new bypass. Okay, let me have a look at that. Yeah, there is a section here. Thank you very much. There we go. We should be able to get more trains in. That new bypass, though, seems to have just unclogged itself completely. Uh, Grave says someone and gave Brandon God powers. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if I regret it or not. Let's see what the situation is. We was at 51 months last time. We're at 53 months, but... Oh, my goodness. Good storage is at zero. I think we're going to fail at, th at 53 months. I don't know what to do. Uh, I, is it just the town growing and the requirements is just beyond crazy? We're up to 21,000 now. The town has grown quite nicely. It's not as big as some of the viewer submissions, but I don't know. Um, we've certainly got a lot of uh, like oil and so forth coming in. And petrol, that seems to be good. Passengers are all good. Um, what have we got here? We've got a, quite a lot of manufacturing supplies starting to stack up. And I think it's just because we're waiting for trains to come and deliver it. So we're going to give them an alternate path into the platforms here. To be able to take. Uh, this needs to be a double depot. But what we'll do is we'll remove the depot altogether. There's still a train there. Ah! Okay, can I, can I keep this going for another month? No, we failed. That's it. What was it? 53 months, wasn't it? I believe it was 53 months. Does oil make goods? No, but they kind of linked in together because I think uh, chemicals are used out of the petrol production. 
Well, there we go, folks. Uh, that is going to be the official end. I was going to see how many more months I could push on for. Goods was actually where I failed the most. The amount of goods delivered did drop, and I was struggling to really keep on top of that there. Um, overall, the growth... Um, what was it? We had... 1500 months of gameplay and for that about i don't know one third of it we grew so there is a good opportunity for you guys to do a lot better than me i'm still going to keep the downloads on the website for this you guys can go get the downloads all the instructions about how to play this challenge is at the beginning of the first episode so if you're watching on youtube go to the playlist go to the first episode those first five minutes tell you how you can play along there is um if you want to use the later vac tubes you can do that and please do continue to send me your games because if i get enough of you guys sending me your games show me how well you guys have done i'll probably put another video together sometime in the future but oh my goodness the stress on that one I, I thought I was doing quite well, um, but it, it just, as the town grew and grew there, it just started to crumble to pieces. I did wonder how much longer uh, I'd be able to go on for, but we've got one and a half billion pounds in the bank. The network, I mean, if we look at the network here, this is the network in map view. I love looking at my red network. This is one of the reasons why I choose red, um, because... It contrasts well on the green and doesn't clash with blue. So if you look at the um, the map, the world map, you can usually get all, or if not most, of the network looking pretty good. I think we can get nearly the entire network on the screen. We can, just. There's the entire network on the screen there. You can see Hellishville um, down here with the stations and the roads being laid out. The goods network down here. Uh, we've got extra manufacturing down there. Um, petrol was produced over here and manufacturing supplies up there. This is where one of the food networks was up here. And we had more food net networks down there and it just kind of spread across the land. I think the only thing we haven't got here is some of the peripheral airports out of that. Um, why don't you make it again? I'll join if it's made. Well, I am going to be doing a Series 6 of Open TTD. Um, I will be doing um, that at some point in the future. If you are watching this now and want to put your suggestions forward to what you'd like to see me do in Season 6 of Open TTD, please do put the comments on the YouTube video. Um, if you're watching live now, go to the YouTube video when it's out and pop your comments on there. Thank you to everybody who's put all their thoughts, ideas and suggestions in this series so far. Thank you to everybody who's played along. If you do want to play along, please continue to do so. Um, this has been a fantastic series. I've really enjoyed it, and it looks like you guys have too. I'm really excited to see what we can do together for the next ones and grow the new series. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's so much going on right now. If I've forgotten anything, I do apologise. Uh, it needs an update and a map wipe. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's what's going on. Um, but thank you very much, everybody that's been involved in this Let's Play. It's been amazing. Um, and you guys have done so much better than me on a lot of stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Like I said, those things that I've requested, so the ideas for um, Season 6, and also any thoughts, ideas, and questions, please do put them down in the comments uh, of the video and I shall see you soon. So for those, those of you who are watching live, hang around for the after party, but for the episode that is all for now. Take care and from me and everybody watching live, it's goodbye for now. ta -ra! And there we go folks. That was... Open TTD Series 5 Finale. You saw it here live first. The episode will be out, of course, on my YouTube channel, I think, next week. Um, it's just going to be a front and back crop. You'll get the entire one hour, 
10 minutes, I think it's going to be. Big um, episode for the end there. But I've paused it, which means I definitely need to save this game now so that I can make it available on my website. If anybody wants to play past this date as me, you will be able to download this off my website when I finally get it uploaded. Um, Dumb Gamer says, I want to be... I'm still on... <laughs> want to be in an after party i want beer cake if you're watching live now either on twitch youtube or facebook please shout out in the chat what you'd like to see in this last segment i won't be staying up too late like i say i've got work and stuff in the morning uh but i do feel like we could do something um some of you know the sorts of things that i like to stream at these uh so i you know pop it on what what do you, what do you want do you want something a little bit different maybe something like cluster truck do you want me to do a bit more Arcade Tycoon? Jackbox is a nice idea, Tom. Actually, maybe. I don't know if I have enough mods online for Jackbox. Fistful of frags? We could do, although I haven't got a public server set up at the moment. We've only got the Viewer Plus server for Fistful of frags. Although, if there's enough Viewer Plus people that want to play it, I'm happy to do that. Uh, Dumb Gamer wants me to make beer cake. Not right now. Uh, Arcade Tycoon says Neil. I yeah, I did a. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, I did a uh, having a crack episode of Arcade Tycoon. It's a brand new game. It's it's not even out yet. Um, it comes out tomorrow, I think. Yes, the uh, the Open TTD music is still on. We'll leave that on for now. I like it. Um, we can open up the Viewer Plus server to the public for a bit. Maybe if the Viewer Plus people are happy with that. I don't. I don't know. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Arcade Tycoon is out um, tomorrow. It is alpha, so there's lots of features still to come. But if you want a preview of that and you haven't seen my having a crap video yet, go um, go check it out. The 8-bit top-down shooter with Twitch integration. Astrid's talking about um, Streets of Rogue. Which is a fun, fantastic good uh, game. Uh, Brandon likes Streets of Road. Jackamac says, "Hey, Hellish, happy birthday! Haven't been around for a while. Well, it's good to see you passing by, Jackamac. Thank you very much for the birthday uh, birthday wishes." Um, do you have unrailed? No. No, I don't have unrailed. Did you miss the live episode? Yes, Jackamac. You arrived just in time to not see it. I tell you what, should we should we do some Jackbox? Should we do some Jackbox? I think we should. Let's do a bit of Jackbox. Everybody has to be good though. Family friendly. Okay? You all promised to be family friendly. We'll play Jackbox. Okay? I'm talking to you like I do my daughter now. Okay? You be good. And we'll do it. Treat. Yeah? Got some marshmallows here. I cut, Sometimes I do bribe it with marshmallows. <laughs> okay. We're going to do some Jackbox party games. So I'm just going to double check that I have saved this game. E yes, I have. We'll exit that. Music's gone. Now, when Jackbox opens, the sound can be quite loud, so I do apologise. So if you're wearing headphones, bear with me a moment while I get that launched. We'll get some quiplash up. Now, this is going to be a eight-person playable game. and uh, Seven viewers plus me. Anybody can join in using your computer, tablet, or phone. Go to jackbox.tv and you'll have the place to put your uh, information in there. Um, if you don't get to be one of the eight people who are playing, you can still join in by joining the audience, and you get to vote on which people win. So, let's launch this up and get it sorted out. Do you want my address for sending marshmallows? Um, I'm not really in the business of sending out marshmallows. See what I mean about it? Just a little bit more. Let me just sort out the volume on that. It's a little bit difficult, bear with me a second. Okay, I think I've managed it. We might have to try that out a little bit later. So, 
I'm gonna get a game of yeah, it is a bit loud. It, I don't know why, but it always does appear to be loud. I'll also kick down the desktop audio just a little bit. Okay, that seems like it's about right, I think. So, I'm just going to change the settings because the last time we used this was at a LAN party and I turned the family friendly filter off. Uh, we're going to do require Twitch off so that people on Facebook and YouTube can play along if they wish to. Manual censoring is on if I wish to do so. Uh, let's try that. Um, extended timers are going to be on. Audience play along is on. Full screen's on. Volume is set. I'm going to get a new game up. I'm going to play along as well, so I'm just going to get one of my other screens up and ready. My face has gone a little bit yellow because it's a, it's a yellow game at the minute. So, jackbox.tv. Hellish, move me to live chat, maybe Discord, so I can hear you. What? Why, why can't you hear me? You, you should be able to hear me. No, I can't send you marshmallows, Astrian. Right, I'm just going to make sure that I'm in the game before I let you guys join. Right, I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Let's let's open it up for other people to join in. Well, that's no good. We've got desk cam on. Why why is the display capture weird? Transform. Stretch the screen. There we go. I fixed it. Okay, so we've got one more space left. Remember, if you don't get in, you can join the audience. That res is bad. Actually, the res is too good. The resolution's too good for... Can't deal with it. Uh, whoop, let's get rid of that. It was on the screen for half a second and everybody's already in. You've got some fast types, but we've got one space left still. Which I'm surprised. I'm surprised with that. So what we'll do is... Um, who have we got here? We'll go over and we'll bring in the Viewer Plus people, I think. So if the Viewer Plus people want to join on the audio chat, you can do. Come over to the Viewer Plus Discord and join and I'll drag you in. So my new mod with Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Hello. And we've got DJ Egg coming over as well, another Viewer Plus subscriber. And Astrian's coming too. Out and Gwabe as well. Hello. Oh, Hello. we lost Gwabe. There we go. So we've got some of the people that are playing. Woohoo's joined. And uh, I think it's time to start. Remember, people can still join the audience. We've got two audience. Now I can mute the screen. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I'm still a little bit too talking. Talk 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 yeah, you're not playing this Hi, enough. Yeah. Okay, so okay we're going to yeah. we turn this. Let's do this. I'm turning the sound down on. Looks like the gang's all here. I guess I'll press this Quit big blush. red go button. And remember, yeah. anyone who wanted in late can use that room code to join the audience and affect the game. Chrome and make you leave the Discord channel. So. Oh, it is more. It is more than just me. There we go. We got round one, people. Two prompts to your device. Answer them. So we. So everybody playing is going to get uh, two prompts. Uh, we have to put something funny or interesting down and then uh, people vote on which one's the best. Remember, we have to keep it family friendly, otherwise you will be eliminated immediately from the entire game. Oh, Oh, I know an intro. Oh. I don't know now, because oh, I've, got, I've just got a, a, a bad I one. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to do. Mega SD says, "Happy birthday, pal! Love the vids and um, and the work you do. Happy birthday! Thank you very much." Uh, I, I've only got 52 seconds, and I need to think what to do. Oh, I think I got it. 
Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. I've got that one. That was terrible, but... Uh, I don't know if I actually said the word out loud, uh, the sentence out loud. I think I did then. Both my prompts are terrible. I just couldn't think oh, of anything. Um, I had good prompts. I just couldn't think of anything to say that... Wasn't rude. Wasn't rude, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. That, you know. uh, yeah, I can see that. My second screen's been really dodgy and weird. I don't know why, and I don't have time to fix it. Like, just have a black Use the safety quip button. There we go. I've got mine in. Here we go. Jack of had to use a safety quip. First one. The most safety quip. Right, here we go. The most inappropriate place to have a mechanical ball, a school, and at a ball fighting ring. I mean, we had a uh, a mechanical ball type thing at work once. It was kind of a. Was it, uh, the surf ball? it wasn't a ball, but it was one of those things that spin around. It was a bar, and you had to jump over it without falling over. Oh, oh like uh, yeah. I've had one which was a surfboard, and you had to stand on the surfboard. That was. Mm, that that sounds like it was fun. <laughs> we should get one of them at the next Lowsome Land party. There's so many death opportunities in that fun too. <laughs> oh, everybody sided with DJ Egg there. Sorry, no. Ashton. Yes. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> we thought, you know. Moving on. Alfred may know Batman's secret identity, but the biggest secret... Okay, so Alfred says, Alfred may know Batman's secret identity, but the, but the biggest sorry. secret is he, he keeps is... <laughs> Oh. His stash of bats. He is hellish. <gasps> Does that mean I'm Batman? Uh, that's what we forgot to do. No, hellish and not <laughs> um, The dumb gamer say says, uh, "How do I play? I'm in the serve." Um, you play along by awarding points to which one you think is the best one, uh, so you can essentially say who you think should win. So, uh, Wizard Brando says, "His stash of bats," <laughs> but Gabe, you win with. He Absolutely. is hellish. So apparently, yeah. as well as an open TTD dev, I'm also Batman. It's a Batman mega. I could only think of something dirty for. Your next prompt is. I'm going to just pan this. Never take a first date. And this is another example. Okay, so the next question is. Okay, vote. Never take a first date to a hellish dream or funeral. Um, which is which is brilliant. Both of them are brilliant. <laughs> oh no, I know. I think I know which one's going to win here. What if you know which one you ask the girlfriend that would be better? We've got eight people playing and four in the audience. If you want to join the audience, follow the instructions over there on that side of the screen. Um, go to that address and type in that code. You need to ban hellish and hidden. Yeah, I yeah. actually put hellish, so. <laughs> no. I actually, I win that one. Uh, I was against woohoo. Whoever Woohoo is. Woohoo! Up next, the worst thing to say next one. in a marriage proposal. The worst thing to say in a marriage proposal. Oh my. The possibilities. <laughs> I have 15 children and I know you're ugly, but. The thing is, the other one's not that bad. Oh dear. 15 children, if you're at the point where you're proposing, they shouldn't care about that. And yeah. saying the ugly thing. It's probably something that's, but then again, it's probably something they should already know about that point. Yeah, quite yeah. possibly. I mean, they probably should probably know. What you, what you want to say is, I love someone else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Everybody went with I know you're ugly, Bert. Tom Brad, congratulations. You got 100% of the points there. That is a quiplash. A super quiplash, sorry. Poor Jackamack. A cute thing a lawyer would say you. as he cuddles you. You're cute and okay. hugs cost more after the first one. <laughs> Is this a binding contract? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would have been another good one. Let's have a look and see what the answers were. We got five people playing along in the audience. Again, if you want to play along, go to jackbox.tv and put in the code on that side of the screen. I'm carrying a spanner still. DJ Egg, you got owned by me there. I think that's one. I don't think that's one you want to say. I'm carrying spanner. I've got a screw loose, you know. <laughs> 
I think I definitely do. I've just realised what this banner was here for. Uh, it was me fixing my monitors. So the last thing you want to hear from somebody sitting in front of you on a mega bus. Next stop, Liverpool. <laughs> or their wet backside outlet noise. Sure, I'll let that one pass. I won't blank that one out. That's not a bad word. It, yeah, no, not really. I wouldn't say it to my two-year-old. Um, I said it to my four-year-old cousin. Cousin. Yeah. That is, that... At the minute, at the minute, we're calling them. <laughs> we're calling them pops. Almost forgot the most important word. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why he's having no fun, anyways. <laughs> he's half a rude. Next right then, let's have a look. High school, kids get the book, oh, the places you'll go. After college, so, get, oh, the places you'll blank. Here's the prompt. Um, after high school, the kids oh, get a book, oh, the places you'll go. After college, they should get, oh, the places you'll sleep alone. A <laughs> trick or treat for UNICEF. Okay. Interesting answers, though. I want to know who did this. I think the second one's a uh, safety quick. I think it I might think, be. Ooh, yeah, because it's got punctuation. The places you'll see, the places you'll sleep on the street after not being able to get a job. Mm. Oh no, so sleep on see. Yep. Here we go. So it wasn't oh it was a safety quit by Jack and Mac. But you oh. managed to get two points out of that with a further three from the audience. Interesting. It's only a sixty two percent win for Brandon. So not Probably. too bad, Jack and Mac. It's a good for safety quip. Mm. Next one. Don't you get half points for safety quip? Yes. I know. <laughs> So the next one is, on what devices. are mannequins always thinking? So there is, <laughs> it's so fantastic being plastic, and are you my mummy? Oh. Uh, I think you mixed up Doctor Who episodes there. That's true. Whoever the put that, one. I think you've mixed up. Um, you are, but I've got to vote for you. Are you my mummy is that's the, the gas, mask, gas mask, not a mannequin. It's, it was a child. I think it was the same Doctor Are you my mummy? Um, yeah. yes, I know. I think it was both the seconds. Yeah, the man who's talking about was, um, Are You My Mummy? and yeah. Plastic. He, yeah. The Plastic one was his first, was his first episode, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, the mannequins, plastic. yeah, Plastic. Yeah, but the Plastic came back. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of round one. The uh, we're going to check out the scores. You're more worried about Plastic. Uh, okay, let's yes. have a look. Yes, he became a Plastic. We've lived 2,000 years next to the Pandora Yes. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> point. Okay, Number folks, here we go. It's round two. Double points. So let's see how we get on. Uh, Neil says, I prefer the Stone Angels. The Weeping Angels. Yeah, I love them. So the title of a... Oh, hang on. I'm not going to read that out because that gives away which one I'm answering. Okay, so we've got some um, ones to hear. Um... There's so many dirty opportunities. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's. I know my heart book for that, but I can't. I wonder if you ever seen what oh, I do. I can't I spell Narnia. Completely un, un PG. I wonder if you ever seen yeah. what I do, Ashton. Stick to the rules. <laughs> oh, I'm one character. I've been able to type what I want to. Yeah. I, pa I panicked again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot I've got a second one to write. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Um, Can't do that one. There we go. That was just out of nowhere. To be honest, I have a default thing for when, <laughs> for when I panic. I have no idea. I've, I've panicked on that one. We've, we're waiting for two mm. people. We've got six people in the audience. Remember, this is a good part opportunity. Remember, if you want to play along and award points to the people, you can do so. Go to that room code. I pointed the wrong way. Go to that room code over there um, at jetbox.tv. Buckets of did dirt I and just toenails. Notice, did I just notice someone said the average person that sent me eats 10 school meals? <laughs> <laughs> in the... I mean, total, yes. <laughs> Bits of a hundred. <laughs> Dumb Gamer says, Boring, I can't play and watch and listen on my SE at the same time. I'm not quite sure what his SE is. Uh, the title of oh, Rob Schneider's member. <laughs> Who? Memoir. 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 Well, it could be both. It's probably both. 
Um, does anyone even know who I was? I think that's a good one, that. I don't even know who Rob Schneider is. I recognise the name, but I can't remember what he's from. I don't think anyone knows who he was. The name definitely is... Uh, game music gone. It was temporarily. Someone's got to Google it. Yeah. Uh, wow. Some actor... He was in Grown Ops, yeah. the animal, big... He's a tablet actor. Oh. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. There's a quick lash for you. I made it sound like a book. Next. <laughs> a good taunt to yell at the zoo elephants. Okay, a good taunt to yell at zoo elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, mate, you look like a mouse. And nice ears, Dumbo. Well, but surely Dumbo's a celebrity for them. Yeah, he's, yeah, a, I, he's an iconic person that can be put on a pedestal. But would you like to be uh, compared to Ryan Mooney? <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting point to make, that. I was thinking, what, what's his name? The factory kid didn't do you know? Well, uh, it's pretty even on some of it, but it looks like, yep, Astrid, you've got most of the points yes. there. What? Two to one, you, you've uh, won against Brandon on that one. You wasn't even an insult. Coming up next. I think it's an insult. <laughs> okay, the title of a drama, clearly gunning to win an Oscar. The never-ending Nost story of Toys Argos, or Oscar-winning drama part nine. <laughs> terrible names, come where's, on. Where's the other part? eight parts? <laughs> Did they just not win, so they're going for a ninth, ninth time to charm? Yes. It's like that one where you stop getting a lot of films now, which are part two, don't you? But I think the second one got really what's called part two. But then there's no part one. Yeah. It's, it makes you look, do more research into it. Ooh, I'm not that big at it. Bring up someone and just call well, it part I did, nine. Well, I did. Why did everybody go with Oscar winning drama part nine? Because it's going, clearly going for it. That was yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah. I was That's trying to be too yeah. clever and it didn't work. Money okay, next one. Finding money in an old pair of pants is great, but when you've got even better is discovering <laughs> retracted. What's even better is discovering. Redact. Astron, was that you back in the chat? A new way of flatulence <laughs> to, break to break the wind. That is, That would be an interesting thing. Oh, so we'd move right now. There are possibilities there. Oh, someone should change the screen to non PG for you, think. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> we'll get banned. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to. Yeah. Actually, he wouldn't get banned, but. Yeah. I'd have to change all the settings on all the different stream channels to comply, but we won't do that for now. You are doing it. Wow, the yeah. audience swung it for Jackamack. How many audience do we have? About five. Yeah. 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 Been a much much movie. It's the most audience we've had for a little yeah. while on, on this particular game. <laughs> As the Sidra's hands would have been much more different if music was Edward Stone hands or Edward Fluffy hands. Uh, if this was a not in the PG one, that I'm got to be yes. Oh, I think people did quite well here to keep this one yes. uh, family friendly. <laughs> you know when you think of a word and it's completely different when you when you actually type it. <laughs> Let's just say I didn't do that. Did you mean um? Does the one you mean have an R in it? That's a awesome. <laughs> Same thing, maybe. Well, Brandon yeah. got a lot of points there, so congratulations, Brandon. Yay. Moving on. Well, we should do a game giveaway, shouldn't we? I win. Grandmother's house. No, you Actually, yes, you will. You want every game giveaway. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just broke my screen. Worst picture to see framed in your grandmother's house. <laughs> Hang on, why are they both hellish? <laughs> <laughs> In their grandmother's house. No one wants to see you there. Does it just hellish on a mechanical ball? When your grandmother Does it really make it better or worse? When your grandmother yeah. favours hellish over you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This seems like a bad idea all around this. Hellish, it was the same one. Yeah. I thought we had the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Backup answer. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a good old. Something enthusiastic you would yell at a Smash Mouth concert. Something enthusiastic you would uh, yell at a Smash Mouth Ready, concert. Set, 
Right, okay, some interesting answers there. I have no idea. Uh, Where is my bucket of games to give away? Oh, there they are. You have a bucket full of games. Well, it's my goodie bag. How much for the bucket? So, if you want to take part in the game giveaways, you must be watching on Twitch, unfortunately. So, if you're watching on anything other than Twitch, go join Twitch and follow the commands. <laughs> you see my back and match just typed in chat. You thought it was sale, not yet. Yeah. Oh well, oh. I, I won that one, so that's good. <laughs> that makes more sense. Next on the list, Oh, God. <laughs> what ruined your hot air balloon ride? A non-stop stream of diarrhea. Oh, Hellish fired Tidmouth. I did fire Tidmouth. Um, Tidmouth did get fired quite a lot. Uh, I think that one's pushing. Mm. I mean, it's a bit dirty, but... It's not a good one. It's a medical. Number of people joining the raffle there for that game giveaway. What is it? Oh, I've never heard of this. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Never heard of it. Now remember, folks, there is a game giveaway for Arcade Tycoon. Ooh, is there? Yes. Go watch the video. Go watch the video. The instructions about how to join, uh, how to win Arcade Tycoon is uh, on the video. Thank you. So put that in your watch list for later. Ashrin's current taking first place. I'm in second. But we've got the last section now to come to yeah. round three the last lash the is this last one where the the same the just yeah we all get the same prompt jack and matt's just happy not to be last i need to watch that video actually yeah, I'm last. the game is fun i started the watching i've done a lot to other people play it by that time okay so. so we've got to come up with a full name for this acronym B B L. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Oh my gracious. Uh, right. No. All, all the acronyms. Um, uh, I'll just try something. Yeah, do you know what we should do after this? Oh, I don't know what that I can't think what to put. We do a one hour, 20 minute game of Talisman. No. no. <laughs> How did you do one hour, 20 minutes of Talisman? Sometimes, right, viewers, sometimes I leave this lot in the Viewer Plus server. They're saying, oh, do you want to play Talisman, Hellish? I was like, actually, I'm just off to bed. It's, it's about 10, 11 o'clock at night. I'll leave you to it. I get up in the morning and they're still playing it. It's happened once. It's happened on more than one occasion. And that's right, once it was the same game. Other yeah. cases were just playing the second game. Yeah. Ashton, when I didn't go to one of my exams, Let's see it. what you've wrought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although that might be round, game. you can give out one gold, uh, one no, silver, not, and one shit. bronze medal to your right. top three. Right, here we go. Let's. Make them count. Oh, I okay, a lot of people didn't use the L. Big bold loathsome. Bob's blanketing. Was, was burning blended. brown lead. Interesting. Birds be leaving. Oh, same. <laughs> <laughs> Batman Bull Riding League. There's some interesting ones here. Um, I'm going to go with that one. Uh, that one and that one. There we are. I've, I've awarded my points. Corrupt Thanks. Consoles here. Happy birthday, mate. Love the Open TDD series. Keep it up. Thank you very much. We just finished recording Season 5. Season 6 will come sometime shortly after then. And after this game, I will be making the announcement that I promised earlier Ooh. and it, and for those of you who don't know already it may be a pretty okay, pretty big one for you maybe okay so a few people got bronze quite a lot of people got oh i think i've taken first place how much did ashton get oh no ashton got a lot of gold oh, yes. i think he references references indeed if you can refer back to stuff that was in the other ones then oh yeah ashton's got to have won this four thousand points yeah. yeah and it was already yeah i was trying to link it in with something like that but jack and mac who was pleased not to be last is last and ashton's won <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear. Well, that that was a good bit of fun there. Um, we are going to wind the stream down now. Don't it... heist a thousand again. <sighs> I, I won 55. I did bet 55 points earlier, and I only won 60. <laughs> Remember, Jack and Max used too many symbols, so he got purged by Hellish Chatbot. <laughs> um, he's a very sad kitten right now. But um, we're going to end the giveaway in the ch in the Twitch chat. So let's go giveaway, close giveaway, and pick the winner. And the winner is Brandon. Oh, Brandon, wow. congratulations, Brandon. Uh, I'll give you that code right after the stream. So. A small selection of people may know this already, uh, but most of you don't, including viewers. Uh, but I have already planned some of my festive charity live stream. Oh, it yeah. is going to be a 24-hour live stream. And unlike previous streams, it's not going to be a collection of different games. It's going to be one big game. Oh no. One big game <laughs> of not talisman. Oh, I love that. But talisman we're going to have one massive game of open TTD. Mm. 24 hours. We should be able to complete the game in that time. Is there okay. a completion to open Well, you TTD? get to, you get to 2050 or is it 2051, one of the two, and then that's where your score is recorded in the chart. Oh, I don't uh, know that. Yeah, when you play single player, it is. I don't know about multiplayer. You know, so the idea is, that. is that we're going to go from something like 1940 something, all the way through to 2051, in one massive stream. With or without furs. Whether it's with or without furs, I don't know yet. Whether it's, I'm what I'm thinking at the moment is we have City Builder. Ooh, that's a good. Script. With furs, but I haven't decided on that yet. And because there might be quite a few people that want to play, I'm going to set up a few teams. So the companies are kind of almost pre-made. So Thank we're going to have all the Viewer Plus people in one team. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to invite the League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks to come along with a team. And well, that what means we... you've won because you're in, you're in that team. I'm going to have a separate team. And then we might have some other teams that all the other viewers can come and join in. in. Um... At the moment, that's the plan, and it sounds brilliant. I'm not able to say for certain yet, but I may have secured some sponsorship for this stream, yeah. um, which may mean more prizes and stuff. Ooh. We'll have to see. But the thing that I can say is, is it's going to be yeah. fantastic. It's going to be brilliant. Um, we have fantastics. And um, we may have fantastics in winter. Um, Bill says, "Rip all the people not in Viewer Plus." Well. Bill, there's still going to be companies for non-Viewer Plus people to join. You can join that company and then smash all the Viewer Plus people. Trust me, Viewer um, Plus isn't going to be doing well. It's got me in it. Viewer Plus has yeah. got Brandon Plus in it. So. It's got Brandon and Astron working together. Um, oh, that's never and the, happened ever. And the other side of this is <laughs> the works. charity that we're supporting has been chosen as well. We're going Ooh. to be supporting Macmillan Cancer Support. Mm. Okay, We have supported them in the past. It was quite a number of years ago. And it felt the right time to support them again. Um, uh, lots and lots of people. Um, in fact, most people are touched by cancer in some way, whether it's either themselves, family or friend. And Macmillan are a fantastic, um, fantastic charity which help people um, in so many ways. So if you want to know more about them, go on to Google, look them up. Um, Tom says, have we got a date yet? No date has been confirmed. It's likely to be one of the weekends in December. That, that's what I can tell you at the moment. So I'm looking forward to that. One of the reasons I've announced it so early, there's two main reasons. One, I want to really organise this perfectly well. In previous live streams, um, I've struggled to kind of get things ready on time. And I want to make sure it's all ready and it's going to be fantastic and everybody can join. The other thing... Is, is that I wanted to be able to get the opportunity to bring any sort of like kind of sponsorships and things on board. So it's really just forward planning. We're trying to plan this and make a the best event we've ever had. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do that between us all. But uh, with that mini announcement out the way, uh, I'm going to finish off my birthday by finishing this drink. 
and opening the window because it's getting very warm in this room. It does get very warm now. I've got um, the, the improved server that I bought for the Viewer Plus people kicks out a lot more heat than the old one. This room gets hot. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, Tom says, let's all save money to donate. That sounds like another good idea. Um, a nice early announcement. So what I'll do is I'll give um, the basic info that I've just given now in the next um, hellish news. And then I'll give updates uh, as and when we get closer to the time. But again, thank you everybody for watching. If you want to be within the chance of winning Arcade Tycoon, go check out the video on my YouTube channel. Um, it has the instructions about how you can enter that giveaway. I hope you've all had a great stream. I've had a great birthday. Thank you very much for coming along and sharing it with me. You're all fantastic. Can't say much Yay. more than that. Brilliant. Yay. It's a pleasure, pleasure streaming for you guys. And Great. and that that's everybody. You're all brilliant. I will see you all soon. Take care, everyone. And from me and the Viewer Plus people that are hanging out here right now, it's goodbye for now. Ta-ra, folks. Bye. 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 Bye.